Hi, this is Henry, and I'm going to uh, go over how to fight witchcraft with prayer. Don't allow yourself to um, put yourself to do witchcraft, to fight witchcraft. That is not the way or the answer, because God doesn't want you to be sinning. So that's not the correct way to fight witchcraft. And today I'm going to go over how to fight witchcraft, and I'm going to give you an example of how you fight witchcraft. I'm going to show you how to pray and the, the words to say when you fighting witchcraft. If you know the names of the people that are doing witchcraft on you, then you substitute their names for Nephilim, witches, and warlocks. You'll put their names in, in that particular spot. But let me go ahead, and, and this is going to be a short video, and so that you can understand and know that God gave you authority and dominion over all the spirits, all the spirits that attack you. God gave you dominion over them. God gave you dominion over witches. So let's use our authority, and let me show you how. By the authority and power given unto me by my Father in heaven. Over you, Nephilim, witches and warlocks. I cancel the authority of your altars. The power of your altars. I cancel them. They are no longer have authority or power over me and my house. In Jesus' name, I command it by the power and authority given unto me over the Nephilim, witches, and warlocks. I cancel the authority that you have over the spirit world, over the spirit that you command to go do your dirty work. I cancel that authority. You no longer have authority over the spirits. They will no longer listen to you and do your dirty work. In Jesus' name, I command it by the power and authority given unto me by my Father in heaven. To you, Nephilim, witches, and warlocks, I cancel all the spells that you have towards me in my house. In Jesus' name, I command it by the power and authority given unto me by my Father in heaven. I cancel your authority, Nephilims, witches, and warlocks, that you've had over my money and my job. I cancel that authority. You no longer have authority over my money and my job. In Jesus' name, I command it. By the power given unto me, by the authority that's given unto me, by my Father in heaven, I cancel the spells of sickness and pain that you've had over me, Nephilim, witches, and warlocks. In Jesus' name, I command it by the power and authority given unto me by my Father in heaven. I command the plagues of Egypt to consume the Nephilim, the witches and warlocks that have been attacking me. In Jesus' name I command it. <clears throat> by the power given unto me, by my Father in heaven, I turn the spirits against the Nephilim, the witches and warlocks that have been used to cast spells over me I turn them against you, that the spells may consume you, your own spells. In Jesus' name, I command it. Now, you, you might modify this prayer, but this is a type of prayer that you're going to use in your own prayers at home, that you're going to use... This is a generic prayer, so if you don't know the names of the people, 
that's okay. It's still going to work. Because who's ever casting spells on you, it's going to affect those people. So you might use names of people that that you know, but you also might use it generically with that so that in case somebody's helping them, that you're praying against those people too. So God's giving you authority. God's giving you power and dominion over the witches, over the spirits. Use that power. Use that dominion against evil and God's gonna this is what God wants you to do to pray in Jesus name as Jesus says ask in my name and it shall be given unto you and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna ask in his name so that it will be given unto us and this authority has been given unto us and we have to use this authority and this is how you fight the witchcraft. You cancel their authority. You cancel the spirits that are coming against you. You cancel all that. So they no longer have power over you. So their altars will have no power against you. Their spells will have no power against you. Your sickness and your illnesses will go away. And... With this understanding, you use it every day, and may God bless you and keep you safe. Amen.